Good day world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Um, I was watching some of my old videos and initially when I started this channel, um, one of the, while I was reading up how to start the YouTube channel and how to, I don't know, do this whole thing. And then they said, you must speak very slowly. But now when I watch those old videos, it feels like it's playing in slow motion because I was trying my best to speak slower. Um, so if I'm speaking too fast, let me know. Okay, let me just move a few things around here. Okay, today I want to talk about this thing. And then I fail it. Today I want to talk about this thing. Okay, this is the Artisan Cutlery Proponent. I love this knife. Okay. Now I wanted to show you videos where I chop through things. I also wanted to show you videos where I baton into random large pieces of wood. Okay, but I'm not going to do any of that. All of that has been done to death. Okay, this knife is wonderful. And it's a heavy chunk of knife, but you can still carry it. I carry this thing with me whenever I'm around the house and whatever. It just feels fantastic. It's nice in the hand. It's quite filling. It's got this huge piece of metal over here. Um, I will put all the, what do you call the stuff, the specs in the description as always. Um, so I'm not going to do that. Because it's been done to death. But I figured out that this last little hole over here can be used as a lanyard hole. But it's very thin. Okay, you can't use that one because then you're going to cut it when you close the knife. But you can use this one. But you have to use this thin paracord. I don't know what you call it. And then I have this thing at the back here. So now if you undo this thing. Because otherwise it's too long. I don't know. If you like long lanyards, I suppose you could leave it. But now I have this thing attached to the knife. Okay. And I think this came out of a bouquet of flowers or something. I cannot remember. <clears throat> anyway. So now you have this thing attached to your knife. Now, if you put it in on this side, it won't work because then you're already at the screws. But if you go to this side, you can screw it in there while having the whole thing attached. Okay. Now that was one of the biggest things that was annoying me because this little thing I left in the box. But when I wanted to do a bit more hard UC things, it was quite ridiculous to go and get it, bring it back, whatever. So now this way, I have this thing with me the whole time, and it makes a nice noise because I put on this little split ring. Okay. Artisan Cutlery Proponent. I love this thing. The little broken sword of a knife, but it punctures, it cuts, it does everything you can do with a... What's that thing now? With the little QSP penguin. Just harder. Okay. So this knife. I won't say this is like the best EDC knife out there. It is quite big. But that thwack of awesomeness when this thing flies open. I personally think that the detent has been. You can even spidey flick it. And I was cutting the table. Okay. You can even spidey flick it. So I think this thing is dialed in way more for the thumb studs then for the flipper tab because for a flipper tab you have to do it very um you have to do it on purpose you can't just kind of do it then you're gonna fail it because oh well, now i can't fail it but anyway um yeah you can fail it quite easily okay so you have to give it some oomph but when you use the thumb studs whack okay and like i said even spidey flick works perfectly with this thing okay so Great knife, Dirk Pinkerton design. I actually got into the old Dirk Pinkerton thing um, when I bought that Main Street. And then it's D2. And then we have the 
artisan cutlery logo. Beautiful little pivot color. I quite enjoy the green and orange. Awesome knife. Okay, I've been looking at the murdered out ones. Gary from the Last Ranger showed the murdered out one. Now I want one of those as well. No real practical reason other than it's an awesomely cool knife. Okay, wonderful big fullers. Um, I suppose you can No, you can't really do anything with the fullers. They're just cool. Look at that thing. That looks great. Okay. Stay safe, happy, and have a good one. Goodbye.